Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the next episode of the Wonder Real Chromo. That is right, so after a fantastic victory in the last episode, which ensured that we would be able to act under Ashley Williams, which, I'm going to be honest with you, I accept it's not the most thrilling thing, but in all honesty, we desperately need that for squad depth. Um, so I'm very pleased in terms of actually being able to have uh, those sort of options. Now this is going to be the look at the team at the moment, so 3, 4, 2, no I think it's like a 3, 2, 4, 1 I think. So yeah, enough about that. So uh, we got Marquinhos, Maldini, Musashio in the back, Nagula and Casimir, then we got Bale, Neymar, Pele, Best, and I'm going to place Hamas on the left wing, so uh, hopefully he'll do okay, and then Ibra will indeed have a spot instead of him. Alright, there we go, that's the team, let's get into this match. Alright, so we move into the second leg of the Champions League versus Bayer Leverkusen. So obviously in the previous episode we could have had PSG, which honestly would have been such a fun battle, but uh, it's not terrible in the end, it's uh, perfectly fine with me. So um, yeah, I just want to continue on. We've had some very good form, we've had a couple epic comebacks in a uh, both of my Yu-Gi-Oh! and Wonder Wheel crew modes. Yeah, so taking a look at our lineup, so we have a 3-4-2-2-1. So, interesting lineup from us, but then Leverkusen, so they have a uh, Bellarabi, Ozkan, uh, I think he's really good in Football Manager, uh, 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. So, not going to be an easy match, uh, that lineup formation is pretty difficult to deal with, but I think we're going to be able to swarm them in terms of our midfield players. So yeah, let's get into this match and hopefully we can go along and grab a key victory. Yeah, okay, uh, definitively changing formation. That was a horrific experiment that failed miserably. So, um, Rodriguez, I think I'm going to switch back to a 4-2-4. It's a little too attacking for, even for me. So I'm thinking Pele's going to go there. Uh, so where's Bale? Okay. So Maldini's going to come here. Marquinhos is going to come here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on uh, Bale for Pereira. I will switch out James for... I'm going to bring on Coutinho for Rodriguez. Yeah, there we go. Two changes made. Formation change also. Um, I just really did not like the way we were playing. It's Neymar! Finish it! Oh my god, what a save! Okay, it's Pele, it's Pele, it's Pele, it's Pele, it's Pele, it's Pele, it's Pele. Griezmann, Griezmann! Oh, we've done it! It's another 90th minute winner! And this time, in the 93rd minute, Antoine Griezmann does the business! and puts it in to the back of the net. It's a huge goal. Brilliant play from Casemiro there. And Griezmann just takes the touch and finally, after all the chances we had, thank goodness we went back to a 4-2-4 because we certainly needed to be able to go along and get something from this game. Antoine Griezmann, 90th winner, mid win it. Brilliant 90th minute winner from Antoine Griezmann. Get in there. There we go. That's it. That's the end of the game. It's a 1 0 victory over Bayer Leverkusen. So, very, very pleased. Uh, we deserve the result. We had some really good chances there, but uh, very pleased. And, um, yeah, so good result for us as we managed to. Basically, win the game, win nothing. It is time to spin the wheel, and we are going to be able to do any SPC. I'm going to be choosing the 85 overall Gabriel Jesus. And also, I should probably mention that uh, I'm going to be doing a poll. I'm doing the Champions League clear out for the next episode, so I'm going to be selecting eight players. The top five will be sold, and then that money will be reinvested into the squad through different players. Alright, so uh, this is going to be the look of the lineup. So Otamendi is going to be making his debut as we need to give some of our players a bit more of a rest. 
Alright, so we're moving into the match versus Burnley. Hopefully we can go along. Grab a decent result against uh, them. They're never going to be an easy team to play against. Alright, so we're moving into the second match of the episode. We are playing against Burnley. So, yeah, Burnley has been one of my bogey teams in all honesty uh, in all of my career modes. Um, I think I actually lost the last game in the, of the series uh, to Burnley, one nothing. So, we got uh, injury timed. So, yeah, let's hopefully not repeat that. Um, it's a bit more of not an experimental side per se, but I'm giving Otamendi a chance in the defense. As simply put, um, Musashio is just way too tired to go along and justifiably play. So, our lineup yet again, just refreshing it 4 2 4. Uh, Hamas is going to get a start on the right uh, wing position, but if it's not working out, I'll switch him out and then put George Best at that right forward position. So, yeah, not much else to say there, but let's take a look at the Burnley lineup. So they're going to be running a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two again. Uh, that one was actually a pain to play against. Um, they got uh, Sam... Was it Sam Vokes? Okay, they, they actually don't have uh, Chris Wood. Chris Wood, the Burnley legend who scored. It's going to be a uh, good defensive play. All right. I'm going to hit up quickly. It's George Best who puts it away. We are up one nothing. It was a very good through ball. He showed some great strength to hold off the defender there, and just smacks it in to the back of the net. Heaton has been brilliant so far, but really could just do nothing else there. And yeah, it is a one nothing lead for us indeed. Good start early on. This is what we want. Let's not have to score any 90th minute goals again, okay? Shot! Oh no 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 no! I legitimately just said don't concede a halftime goal, and we just conceded a halftime goal. What a shot! Really should have just actually gone along, and you know like maybe not giving the ball away there. Oh, just we're not even gonna have time to go get it. It's Neymar, it's Maldini. Now you go long! I mean, best! It's George Best who puts it away! It's a great finish, and George Best on the double! Brilliant finish from the Northern Ireland International. Or, yeah, what a finish, though. What a finish. Georgie Best is the best. Puts it away. He has been amazing ever since coming into the team. Honestly, he has been world class. A great finish. And he puts it away. Good goal, and that's the lead we need. It's George Best. Pele! Pele! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Pele! That is an insane finish! Outside of the box screamer from Pele. What a staggering hit into the top corner. Unbelievable finish. And Pele is the mastermind yet again. Right into Casemiro, brilliant from Pele, skips around the challenge. And just what a finish. That is that is audacious. That shouldn't even be possible. What a finish there. Pele the lad. Brazilian legend. What a finish. Oh my goodness. It's up there with that Usmani Dembele goal against uh, Munchen Gladbach. What a finish. And there we go. That is the end of a game. A 3 1 victory over Burnley. Burnley showed more of a fight than Leverkusen in all honesty. Lever Actually, no. In fairness, we had two very tough opponents. Uh, a good solid match. Definitely not easy in the slightest, and um, very pleased to grab a victory though. See it again, back to back times we are going to spin the wheel of victory. First game against Leverkusen we were on the verge of spinning the wheel of the draw, but luckily enough we are going to be able to not do that. Alright, we're going to spin the wheel and we should be able to steal a player from the previous match. 
With Burnley, it's just going to be a wash. I will select whatever player. I will show you in the next episode. Pretty much guaranteed they're never going to make an appearance for the team. Maybe, maybe Michael Keane, decent center back, but I really doubt I'll use any of them. So, we have spun the wheel, and fantastic, yet again, very pleased with what we've been able to get. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and yeah, I shall see you guys later. Peace!